Hey YouTube, Red Eyes 105 here bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video with a little bit of Master Duel info at the end. But anyway, it's that time again where another character is unlockable on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So let's hop over into the game and let's talk about it. Okay, as you can see right now, the character Yuto is now available to unlock in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And basically, all you have to do to unlock him is complete episode 3 of the current event live called the Dark Duelist of XE's Yuto and basically to get the points needed to complete chapter 3 you will have to duel Yuto and Yuya in Duel World basically you will know you'll be dueling the right ones if they have an event over the name like this one and another way to earn points in this event is to challenge Yuto himself at the gate at first you will only have level 10 available but each time you defeat one you will get a new one well, new level unlocked, and basically the cost to farm for this event is Phantom Knight Swords, which is a continuous trap. Activate this card by targeting one face-up monster on the field. It gains 800 attack. Also, if that target would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy this card instead. When it leaves the field, destroy this card. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Phantom Knight monster in your graveyard. Special Soak in it. Bandits it when it leaves the field, you can only use the effect of Phantom Knight Sword once per turn. So, recycle your monster, but boost your monster. You're just a really good source of shenanigans. But then we have Phantom Knight Spear. Each time your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a Phantom Knight monster, you can control and inflict 250 damage. I believe it's 500 normally then. Uh, damage to your opponent immediately after it resolves. If a dark monster you control would be destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can banish this card instead. Hmm. So this card is actually splashable in any deck. It just have one effect that's specific for a friend of mine itself. And what's this card? Okay, that's that's something we already have. But anyway, besides those, like I said, you can battle you to at the gate by basically dueling the regular duelists if you defeat them you basically get points to go against Yuto which I mean the mass basically from the episode where he first showed up in Arc 5 but besides that that is how you unlock the character Yuto you will can keep track of how many points you have in the events on this tab which will be right here as you see I'm on chapter 3 and it's telling me all I have to do to complete it is defeat Yuya at level 40, who's currently in my dual world. So let's go do that real quick. Can make a move, Yuya. Okay, go Fang. Skull Crabat Joker, which we still would get that card in uh, Duel Links. The monster's already to swing into action! I wish he had the same energy that he does in the anime, but. I believe it's you control a face of Phantom Knight monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect. You can spell some of this card from your hand. Okay, you haven't got two of those in our hand at the moment. If this card is in a tap position, you can target one dark monster in the field, change to defense position, and if you do that monster gains 800 attack and defense. Hmm. So this card can get stronger, but it's not strong enough to get over what we got to deal with. So right now we're going to set this card. I forgot what the skill does. Send one of the Phantom Knight monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Then add one Phantom Knight Frog Blade to the very bottom of your deck. From outside of your deck during the turn you activate the skill. You cannot spell summon rank 4 or above monsters unless a Dark Warrior type or Dark Dragon type monster. The skill is on the... Okay, so... I guess let's go ahead and use it.
It's the same one of these. Yeah, we need to add this. Gonna summon the ancient cloak. Activate your effect, special Sogan. Exe summon. Defend my break sword. Use its effect. Send this card from it. Test material as cost. Destroy him. And destroy Kaleidoscope. His effect activates. Bring back both monsters that we just used up. And yeah, we're going to chain one of our fragile armors. Played in defense. Exe summon Dark Rebellion. It's nice to hit the anime lines for summoning monsters. Wanna go ahead and let the animation play for y'all. A reference to the anime summon, uh, summon animation and then a reference to its alternate art right there. I feel like this doesn't have enough, but eh. Ah, actually it was evenly matched. There's only one more thing I have to say about Dark Rebellion, but I'm going to wait until I actually am able to use its ability. Just going to go ahead and activate that. First summon you in defense. Okay, now I'm about to use Dark Rebellion's effect, and I want basically everyone to listen to what it's about to say. Now, as you can see, I'm removing two overlay units, and that's just because in the TCG slash OCG, Dark Rebellion is nerfed versus the anime. In the anime, it was one overlay unit to actually use Dark Rebellion's effect, but in every printing of the card, he would never require two overlay units. That way, you won't be taking, well, half of your opponent's monsters attack points twice. So, yeah, the voice line is kind of wrong. That kind of makes me feel like it's just a reused quote. But anyway, let's be one. So, Let's do some cringy voice acting to the character unlocked of Yuto. And this is what I was talking about right here. If you want to battle him at the gate, every time you battle someone or battle an NPC in the city or you do a PvP match um, daily, you will get some of these masks to actually go and challenge Yuto at the gate. A door is what keeps the world's mouth. That's what Lulu taught me. 
Yes, he's right. I want a duel to put smiles on everyone's faces. Not just for today, but forever. That's why I want to fight as alongside me. Dark Rebellion next city dragon! Now, also, Dark Rebellion is not available right now in game, but he will be available on the 31st in a mini box that will be released into Duel Links. Let's create a future free of sadness and pain. You unlock Yuto, obtain Yuto skill, Fang of Rebellion, Dark Rebellion. You are Ace Monster, Dark Rebellion, XE Dragon is not included in his default deck. You can add Dark Rebellion XE Dragon to his extra deck using the skill Fang of Rebellion, Dark Rebellion. So, right now, let's change over to Yuto and look at his skills and level up rewards. Good to know. But anyway, let's look at his level up rewards first. By default, we have the skill that the game was telling us about that adds Dark Rebellion to the deck. At the beginning of the duel, add two Fen the Phantom Knight of Shadow Veil vale to your deck and one Dark Rebellion XC Dragon to your extra deck. In addition, the following effects can be activated if the only monster you control is Dark Rebellion XC Dragon and your opponent controls a monster with higher attack. Select up to two cards in your hand and attach them to your Dark Rebellion. <laughs> oh! That might be the skills to use with <laughs> Especially if you're a fan of Dark Rebellion, because that means. They just gave us a way to use Dark Rebellion's effect twice. I like this default skill. <laughs> That's nice. But let's go on. See, the Fem Knight of Clove and Helm. See, if a Fem Knight card is sent to your graveyard, this card gains 500 attack. You can banish this card from your graveyard during the end phase of this turn. Add one Fem Knight card from your, hand, from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use each effect of Phantom Knight of Calvin Helm once per turn. Okay, we got some gems, another deck box. See, the Phantom Knight of Shadow Veil, vale, the trap card that says it adds with Dark Rebellion skill. Uh, target one face of monster you control against during the attack and defense. When the opponent monster declares a direct attack, well, this card is in your graveyard. Supposed to summon this card in defense position, has a normal monster. Warrior type, dark level 4, attack 0, defense 300. This card is not true, it has a trap card. If summoned this way, bans this card when it leaves the field. So, it's a trap monster. So, yeah, okay. Okay. The Fem Knight of Ragged Gloves, a dark AC monster that was summoned using this card on the field, has XC material against this effect. If it is XC summoned, it gains a thousand attack. You can manage this card from your graveyard and send one Phantom Knight card from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. Okay, that's a pretty good effect. S slash U ticket 35. At level 13, we get the skill. Johnson Spell and Trap. We don't care about it. As you can see, it's generic, so I'm not going to read what it do. Okay, and then we get another copy of him, so we back at Repeat Rewards. At level 20, we get another skill, the Phantom Strategy. Send one the Phantom Knight monster from your hand to the graveyard, then add one Phantom Knight Fog Blade. Wait a minute. Okay, this is the skill that we ended up using in the event. So, we already know what it does. Send a Phantom Knight monster from your hand to the graveyard, and add the Phantom Knight Fog Blade to the bottom of the deck, and then you can only summon Dark... Well, yeah. You can only summon a Dark Warrior type or Dark Dragon monster. Okay, so let's keep going then. Oh. We also get a copy of the Phantom Knight of Cursed Javelin. It takes two level twos to go into it. You can detach one AC material from this card. Then target one face up monster your opponent controls. Until the end of this turn, change its attack to zero. Also, it has its effects negated. This effect can be activated during either player's turn. If this card has a the Phantom Knight card has XC's material, you can only use the effect of the Phantom Knight of Cursed Javelin once per turn. Okay. 
Back to repeats. Let's see. All right, so we get two copies of him. But anyway, that's the level of rewards. Let's see if there's any skills unique to him. Because I'm pretty sure, yep, generic. Okay. Right here, we have the skill Phantom Knight Resurrection. Can be used if your life points are at 2,500 or below. Return up to two cards from your hand to your deck. Then select the same number of the Phantom Knight trap cards in your graveyard that are treated as monsters when activated. Any card you select is treated as having its effects activated and is played to your monster zone has a monster. The Phantom Knight of Miss Claw is treated as a level 4 monster. This skill will only activate if you begin the duel with a deck that follows the conditions below. Your deck contains no cards other than the Phantom Knight monsters. The Phantom Knight spell and trap cards. Your extra deck contains no monsters other than the Phantom Knight monsters or XC Dragon monsters. This skill can only be used once per duel. Okay, so it's our right skill, but it's really restricted because most of your Phantom Knight decks will consist of, well, traps outside the few monsters that are good for the deck. Let's see, Phantom. Phantom Regeneration, select up to two Phantom Knight spell and trap cards in your graveyard and then attach them to one Xyz Dragon monster on your field that has Xyz material. This skill can only be used once per turn. Once per duel, sorry. So, yeah, it's another skill outside of the one that adds Stark Rebellion to your extra deck to reset his overlay unit so you can use his effect again. Let's see, Phantom Trade. Send one Phantom Knight spell and trap card from your deck to the yeah from your hand to the graveyard. Then add one Phantom Knight monster from your graveyard to your hand. This skill can only be used if you begin to duel with a deck that ha includes at least one monster and contains no monsters other than the Phantom Knight monsters. Okay. The attack and defense of trap cards on your field that field that are treated as monsters increase by three hundred. Huh, so you kind of have a new skill for like Odeon based decks. Don't really care. Alright, I think we went over all of Yuto's skills and level of rewards. Now, I only have one more message for everyone. Now, if you are really into Master Duel right now, if you don't know, right now the game is in maintenance at the time of me recording this video. And all I really wanted to say about that is usually when maintenance happen in say like Duel Links for example, that means something is being added to the game. I'm pretty sure on the Master Duel website, well Master Duel Meta website, it has will have the leaks once the game servers come back on. So most likely we will either see a new event after it becomes available, and we might see some new cards, but I. I would say wait on new cards honestly uh, besides that I also believe we might see some fixes because if you don't know one of the Salomon great cards I might have a screenshot of it by the time I get to editing this if I remember so watch all the way through me uh, that currently in the game does not have its effect on the card so anyway that's all I wanted to say about mass duels I uh, also have my code if you want to add me I'm always up for a duel, but I'm just playing casually right now. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.